this is Anna Orlinski from Just Paint. We're doing a super speedy voiceover here to make this video funner to watch. I am going to be making a cool dragon face on Deanna, one of our awesome pecaristas. And first I'm going to make horn holders for this dragon. The horn holders are going to hold the horns so they have like a little growth to come out of. And you can use the rainbow cake just by loading it up with a dark edge on the outside of each side of your horn holders. If you flip it over and you keep the light side in the middle, you'll have this cool gradient effect which will make the horn holder look kind of like a tube. So I'm going to put her eye wings down here at the bottom and then underneath those I'm going to sneak in some more horn holders. To do the eye wings, you want to load your brush with a dark edge and have the dark edge on the bottom of the scallop marks that you're making. So basically you're going to load up your brush with your rainbow cake. I'm using Global Borneo for this one and you want to make sure you have the same amount of points on each side. So I'm going down and up, down and up, down and up. So I have three scallops points on each side of the face. And then I outline under the eye with the dark side right at the edge of the eye. So it's yellow in the middle and it's dark all the way around the edge of her eye wings. Now I'm going to do the top edge of her eye and I'm just going to go over the padded area of the eyelid with the light side up and the dark side down and then fill in the rest of the top of the eyelid with the dark edge of my brush so she's kind of got to dark and mysterious dragon look. It will look a little scarier. Now I'm just throwing some scallops on each side of her eye. Oh, I did two on one side, three on the other. That was creative. And then fill it in with the light side of your brush. Um, and now I'm going to sneak the horn holders right under the scallops on each side. So the farthest away little hole scallop that I have there, I'm going to do a little horn holder. And then I'm going to do the same thing in that hole, in that little scallop divvy with the dark on the outside and the light on the inside. Alrighty-o. Now let's see what I have planned for Deanna's face. The centerpiece. So right on the forehead between the eyebrows you can do some big sweepy scallops um, to make the center of the dragon's head. These ones look kind of flamey. You can go flamey or you can just go pure straight scallopy however you want. I've got the dark edge on the outside of her nose, so that it's going to give her nose some dimension. I'll have the light side in the center, and it'll make it pop out more, because dragons kind of have a long, forwardy nose, at least some do, because dragons are fantasy creatures, if you didn't know. Anyhow, then I'm going to use the dark edge on the bottom of her nose, and outline the ball of her nose, and then keep making little dashes all the way up her nose so that it kind of goes dark light, dark light, dark light, and it has this cool scale gradient. Alrighty, I need to load up my brush and I'm going to follow the smile lines on Deanna's face so that I can make sure my muzzle is a little more symmetrical. So I'm just going to use the dark edge right in the smile line and the light edge going into the center of her muzzle. And then having the dark edge on the outside and make a little pointy chin that kind of goes down, out, and down. So she's got like a triangle point there on her chin. And then underline her lip with a dark edge at the bottom. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of the empty spaces on her muzzle. I'm going to outline her upper lip with a dark edge on the lip. So her bottom lip really looks like it's popping out. Um, and then that dark edge on her lip gives you that nice muzzle shape. I fill in the middle. Fill in the little extra empty spots on her nose. And now I'm getting ready for some taptastic fun. I'm going to use, um, oh, I'm going to fill in this space here. It was a little empty. So I'm going to drag the scallops down so that we still see some skin showing through between the muzzle and the eye mask portion, but not too much skin. It adds a cool dragon shape to her face. Instead of filling every inch of her skin with one strokes, I'm leaving some negative space there to give a shape, a mask shape. All right, now I think Deanna is ready for 
her horns. I'm gonna load a sponge with some global white. It's a liquid global white, so it's in a little bottle. And this is perfect for sponging on stencil designs because you have the perfect consistency. You don't have to try to get a good balance of water and paint. It already comes pre-mixed and mushy and ready for stenciling and it won't bleed underneath as long as you don't load way too much on there. So I'm just going to pat some tap horns and as you notice there's two horns on this stencil so you don't have to flip the stencil over to get a reflection horn on the other side. It already has the other reflected horn. And now that I've got all her horns, I'm going to get a Mark Reed number two round brush and I'm going to outline them so they have some more definition. And I'm using the little notch marks that come on the stencil to make these cool little twisted horn shapes. So I just took them, went from a notch mark and kind of pulled in and down as I went around the horn. There's a couple notches on each side of the horn and it gives you some direction. If you have problems doing symmetrical horns or cool looking horns, pointy horns, horns that fit the size of a kid's face, the tap horn is like awesome just to give you some guidelines. And if you use it for a while, you'll pretty much train yourself how to do your horns your, you know, by yourself without even needing to use a stencil. So this is like a little horn instructor. Alrighty, and I put some little crack lines at the base of her horn going out into the flesh to make it look like it's busting through the flesh and popping out. Alright, now you've got some cool dragon teeth. I did that with Global Liquid White also because it pops on top of the base color and it doesn't fade. And so her teeth are going to be standing out all day long while she goes and hangs out with her friends goes to the supermarket, does some shopping, scares some little kids. Alright, and then she gets some whiskers and some quick outline. If you have the time, you can always outline your one-stroke design just to make it look a little more crisp and clean and dark on the edges. Oh yeah, look at that mustache. You could throw in some eye cracks so she has a little bit more of an angry expression. You just push down and then flick out one two three one two three and um, those eye cracks are really going to make her look more monstrous and I'm outlining her beautiful forehead flame so basically when you're doing a design like this you want to get the go around the top of the eye the bottom of the eye the middle of the head you just kind of think of the steps that you're going to work to make this all happen. You might want to write the steps down, go over it a couple times in your head, and then when you're out on the job, you'll kind of have it programmed into your brain how to do the complete dragon. Otherwise, you can just do parts, like just do one eye, or do the whole eye mask, or just the muzzle, or the muzzle and the eye without the nose. Oop, I tapped some organic scales in there with a little bit of vibrant yellow mixed with that global liquid white and I'm using the global liquid white to make some eye popping highlights on her nostrils and up the ridges of her nose and a couple eye crack highlights too are coming her way anywhere you've got like a strong black line you can throw a highlight to really make the design pop if you've got the time there's her little wrinkle highlights and a little flame highlight Dun, dun, dun. Oh, she's looking so gorgeous. <gasps> she's scary. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.